All right, I'm going to try this again. Uh, this morning, we went for quite a while, from 9 to 11.30, and we had some problems working with the um, images and some of the other stuff. So I'm going to come back, and I'm going to build the Magic 8-Ball program from scratch, no, no pun intended. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click Create. I'm just going to start from the beginning. I don't know if I have something by this name, so we'll find out. But Jeffrey P. 4444, let's call it Magic 8. I don't think I have something by that name. OK, so there it is. All right. So taking it from the top, we'll pretty much do it the way that we did it this morning. Uh, I might change a few things around, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. So sorry, when you get, when you hear that ding, I'm getting an email. So, and I tried turning it off and it tells me that it's off, but it is. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to create my variables. So make variable. The order in which you do these doesn't matter. So let's do our play again. For all sprites, okay. We don't need it checked. Then another one, and this will be our message. Again, for all sprites, okay, and uncheck it. Third one, which will be called random image. For all sprites, okay, and uncheck it. And then finally, our last one, which will be your question. For all sprites, and OK, and uncheck it. So I now have my, all of my variables, all right? So all, of, all four of my, <clears throat> my variables have now been created. All right. We want to make sure that when we start a game, ask a question or do whatever that we want certain things to happen okay <clears throat> so whenever we start up new again we basically want to so when clicked that event let's make this a little bigger all right so the first thing we want to have happen is we want to hide in fact, let's bring in all the sprites right now. This is going to look pretty ugly on the screen, but it's okay. I'm going to bring in all 16 sprites at once. And how am I going to do that? Well, one thing I found out taking a look at my email with mine, and I've, I've got a new version of Outlook, so I've, I'm doing things differently than I used to. But with this, if I click on it, it says, do I want to save it? And I do. I don't want it to go in downloads. I want it to go onto my desktop. Okay, and on my desktop, do I have anything? I've already got one called day two, so I'll remove both of these. Okay, so it's basically what I'm telling it right here is I want to save this. <clears throat> and I want to save it to the desktop. That's where I recommend you save it. And I'm going to save it as day two. Okay, so I'm going to save it to the desktop. All right, and I think I screwed up, but we'll see. There we go. That's what I want. Right mouse click. Oh, why did it? No, it worked, and then it didn't work. I want this to work the way it used to. When I right mouse click, it would, do a, it would put a save as out here. All right, but it doesn't do it like that anymore. It doesn't really matter. The point is, I'm going to click here. All right, there's day two, and it's in my downloads. Okay, so let's look. It, it puts it in the place it would automatically save to. So let's go look in here. There's day two. So there it is. I've, I've actually, as you can see, I've downloaded it a bunch of times now, and I really don't need that. So I'm going to grab the one of these that I need, day two.zip. I'm going to literally hold down on the left mouse, drag it over, drag it over on top of my, the icon for my desktop, and it comes back, and one of the things that, you know, now it moved it there. 
So if I go back to my desktop, I should now have my day2.zip file. There it is. Everyone's machine is different, but if I right mouse click on this and choose extract all, that will unzip it. And I wanna unzip it right onto my desktop, so boom. Take just a second, and there it is, right there. Okay, and that has inside of it another folder called day two, and a folder in there called images, which has got all the images we'll need for our program, and the images we'll need for that coin program. All right, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to come in What I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in here into my program, and I'm hoping that's what's still showing on screen here. So I will come in and start my share again. Oh, where is that? That's what I want. So let's see. And we want to share our screen right there. Share. Okay, that's where we are. So this is where I want to be. Now, I'm going to bring in all 16 of these at once, and you'll see how ugly it'll get right here. So I'm going to put my mouse over where it says choose a sprite and go up to the top. And there are my sprites. So I'm going to highlight all of them, all of them, even the ones I really don't want right now. But I don't want the heads and the tails. So I'm going to click on that again and see if that'll make it go away. I don't want that one. I can get rid of it later. But I've got all of them in here now. So when I click open, watch what happens to my screen. You can see it filling up. Okay, and I don't want this heads one. But now I do have on here all of these. These are the images that I made. Okay? All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I, I want to make sure when each sprite comes up that it hides. So how do I do that? I'm going back to my cat, and when I start here, what I wanna have happen is I wanna broadcast and wait, and I'm gonna broadcast a new message that says, hide all sprites, hide all sprites. All right, there it is, hide all sprites. And I wanna make sure that each sprite, I'll start from the end, it doesn't matter where you start, but this will say, when I receive a hide all sprites, what do I want to do? Well, it's pretty obvious. I hope what you want to do, you want to hide. And I want to do this for every one of these. Now, I'm going to just go and copy this, duplicate it. I can go and, and do it 16 times or 15 times, but I should be able to just highlight each one of these and bring it in that way. This should work. It's supposed to work. We'll see when we get done. All right, so let's double check and see if indeed it did make those. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Looks like it did all of these. Now we'll know real, oh, that one didn't work. There's one, got it, got it, got it. 
I'll be able to tell, see, I missed one there. And I'll be able to tell real fast whether or not it worked because when I run the program, all of the sprites should now hide. So let's try it. Okay, other than there's one that's still there, it will pass. Okay, so I've got to find where that one is. There's one that is still not hidden. And that's fine. That's hidden, 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 hidden. There, there we go. Okay, now I think they're all hidden. Now let's double check. All right, so we have just the cat. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. So there's a couple things. There's a lot of ways I can do this, but to try to keep this pretty simplistic, what I've decided I'm going to do is down here is where my message comes, but I'm going to still move scratch about to there. That's about right there. And that looks like that is at one. 100, can't, I can't read that very well, 190, all right? So that's the other thing I want to do is when I start, okay, and this is scratch, so I want to set my X, Y. So I'm going to set X, and I'm going to set Y, and then I'm going to broadcast. I'm going to set X to 100, and I'm going to set Y to 90, and we'll see whether or not I did it correct. Right, you'll be able to tell. I'm going to just move the sprite so it's like that there. Now, when we start, well, that's pretty obvious I didn't do it correctly. So I will take a look at it again. I was going to say, I thought these would both be negative numbers. So here we've got negative, negative 186 and negative 58. Let's try that. Negative 186 and negative 58. All right, so I'm trying to set it there. Okay. That's good. That's where I want the sprite to be. Why? Now I can put the eight ball up here and I can keep it full size. Okay, so I'm going to also try to position <clears throat> the, uh, the eight ball as well. All right, so sprite is good. All right, this is the eight ball. You can see that's where it is right now, okay? And I'm gonna try to put it someplace like right here. So I'm gonna say, uh, in fact, let's, let's do this. I want all of these to hide except for this one. This one I actually want to show. So there it is, okay? And I want it to go someplace up here. So that looks like it's at 190. <clears throat> Again, if I'm doing this right. So when I first start, I'm doing this a little bit differently than I did it this morning. So again, we will set the eight ball. So when, it, when you click, that will be at, set X and set Y. And again, that now says, one thirty two and sixty eight. Okay. All right. So let's look and see when the program runs, if basically the stuff is in the right position. Okay. That's really big, but I can still cut down the size. It looks like it. That's good. Well, we should actually still have room. I'm going to make these, these a little smaller, though. So how am I going to do that? 
I'm going to come down, I'm sorry, I'm going to come down here and uh, stop the run, go back up, and I'm going to take and change the size of this. I'm going to make it about half as well. How about 50? How does that look? That's a little too small. I like it a little bigger than that. How about 75? That's good. That's real good. All right. So I want to set the size to 75%. In fact, I can do it different ways, but I'm just going to set all of these right now to 75%. I can do it in code. I can do it in here. I'm just decided for whatever reason, I'm going to do it in here. You can see this little outline when I do that. That's where the ball, where the image currently sits. And we're going to also move it so every time, hopefully, it's going to replace what's here. This probably would have been a lot better to actually do this in code, but it's, it still is fine. All right, the other thing I wanna make sure happens, we'll do this in a bit, but when we actually show the different images in here, we wanna make sure that they are at position 132.68. In fact, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, all right. So right now, not a whole lot is gonna happen. If we run the program, except we do have our stuff where we want it to be. That's a good start. All right, so I've got that. I've hidden all my sprites, okay? You don't have to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put, after I've done this, after I've hidden my sprites, all right, now I'm gonna come in, and this I, I guess I do have to do, I'm gonna come in with a say, I'm just, sorry, I'm just losing it a little bit right here, so. That's ask. There we go. So we're going to come in here and we're going to say, welcome to the Magic 8-Ball program. Got a question? Ask it, ask now, something like that. And I just I got a question. That's good enough for, for now. All right. And we'll wait. Let's just make it four seconds. All right. Now what we want to have happen, in right here, we did put down in hide all sprites, we want to show our main one. So that's good. But now what I want to have happen after we say that, we want to set our play again we want to set our play again to true. Because that's going to determine whether or not we want to have another game. So we're going to come in here and do a repeat until. We want to repeat it until our play again is false. That's what we have in here. So we come in there. We want play again. And we want that to be false. So we're going to keep running this until our play again is false. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and we want to ask, what is your question? So what's your We'll just change this from what's your name to what's your question. Okay. And we will set, remember, whatever you put in there becomes answer. So we will set 
your question. to that answer variable. So that's what we just entered. Okay. Now we, we don't have to do this, but let's check and see if it's blank. First of all, let's, let's look at what we've got so far. All right. Okay, welcome, got a question. Good, there's plenty of space there, that works. What's your question? We got plenty of space there. This is going well. This is exactly the way I want it to look right now. All right. So I'm going to stop the run. Okay, so if, which means we've got to come down here. So we'll do an if then else. So if we put nothing in here, and I tried that before and it didn't work, but let's try it again and see if it works or it doesn't work. I'm going to leave this totally blank like that. And in here, this is going to be your question. So if your question literally has nothing in there, I'm going to see if we can do a say right there that says, <clears throat> you must ask a question. Please try again. And again, I'll leave it for about four seconds. So we're going to try this one and we're going to see now if it works with nothing in there for no question. And if it doesn't, I'm not sure then what the, what, what the problem is. So a question. Yeah. What's your question? I'm leaving it blank. There you go. You must ask a question. Now, I don't know if this will work or not, but what if I just hit the space bar a couple times? Okay, it still doesn't like it. That's good. All right, so that worked. There was nothing in there. Okay. Now, in the else block, this is where all the rest of this code for what we're doing right here is going to go. First thing I want to do is I want to create a random image. So I want to go in and now I want to grab one of these 15 images here. Not zero, but one through 15. That's why I named them the way that I did. So I want to set my random image. And I want to set it to a random number between 1 and 15. All right? And after I do that, I want to do that shaker thing again. So I'm going to repeat that three times. So I'm going to come into my control and I'm going to do a repeat. But I don't want it to repeat 10 times. That's way too much. So three is plenty. And then I want to go to sound. Again, I'm doing this all from scratch right now. And I want to play sound until done. Now notice that if I run this, now if I run it, it's going to meow three, it should meow three times. I can put any gibberish in here we want, that's, that's okay. That's good. That's exactly what we want to have happen, except we don't want the meow. And that's all that's in there right now. So again, we go over to sounds. We go down to the bottom left-hand corner and we choose a sound. Okay, there is a shaker. This is in alphabetic order, so I'm going down to the S's. About two-thirds of the way down, I find shaker. There it is. So I'm going to click on it. That adds it here. All right. So I am going to go back to my code. Now I can change that from play meow to play shaker. And I can run this again. You know, hello. One, two, three. Okay, 
So it is shaking three times. If that's not enough for you, of course, you could always increase that. All right, that's the only thing I want to repeat in there three times. All right, so what's next? Well, now I want to display the associated image. This is where we ran into some problems this after, or this morning, rather. So I'm going to create a new block, and I'm going to call this block display associated image and click OK. There it is, but I have to create that, and I will do that in just a moment. Okay? It's going to be down here, and it's going to be very big. So this is what I want to do here. Not inside of my repeat, but still inside of the else. So here it is. So you saw this this morning. I don't know how much copy and paste I can do. Oops, I don't want that. I want an if then else. I don't know how much of this I can actually do. So there is an if else, if else, if else. There's another one. So that's four right there. I'm gonna see if I can get that to go in here. So that is now eight. And if I duplicate again, that should be all 16, hopefully at least. Now I hopefully now, like I said, have all of them, all 16. Now that's ugly as heck but it was done a lot faster than the way I did it this morning. All right, so I'm gonna to try to make this as simple for me as possible. So I wanna say in here, if, and I need an equal sign, an equal one here, all right? And I'm gonna make a bunch of these. One, oops, not like that, I don't want to. I'll just start with four of them. So if, now I just, so I, I'm going to basically, uh, I just figured out my random image. So if that random image if that random image is equal to one, okay, then, then I want to, right here, I want to broadcast, and wait, brand new message that's just going to be called show image one, okay, so that's done. Now, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make this as easy for myself as possible. So I'm gonna grab this for now and pull this out, and I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, and I'm going to go, oops. And I'm gonna make some copies. So, as I do these, I'm going to make copies. So, there's if random image equal one, broadcast this. All right. So, here now I've got to, I'm going to make another copy. If random image equal two, then broadcast, and again, I'm going to make another copy. But now I don't want to show image one, I want a new message, which will say, show image two. Oops. All right, and I'm just going to keep repeating this.
duplicate, duplicate. So if it's a three, I want to broadcast a new message, which is show image three. All right. Again, maybe the way I'm doing it isn't the best way of doing it, but hopefully it's done in such a way that you can understand what I'm doing. So this will be four. And this will be broadcast show image four. All right. So I've got one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. I'm a quarter of the way through. Come on, unhook, there you go. Okay, so five. And I wanna broadcast another new message, show image five. Six. And I again, of course, wanna broadcast. Show image six. Seven. Broadcast <clears throat> another new message. That'll be show image seven. Eight. And that will be show image eight. All right, you can see I'm making a little bit of progress. Nine, broadcast, show a new broadcast message, show image nine. 10, broadcast, show image 10. Eleven. Broadcast show image eleven. All right. Just about all of them. All right. Oops. Twelve broadcast new message show image twelve. Thirteen broadcast, 
broadcast, new broadcast message, show image 13. And 15. Might have missed one. I might have put one too many in there. I don't know. Um, I don't think so, though. I think all I'll need here would be one last else. I don't need an if then else here. I need just an if then. In fact, I don't need anything. We'll get that in just a second. So this is 15. All right. And show image 15. And if for some reason, this should never happen, but if for some reason, all right, if for some stupid reason it gave me a number that wasn't between 1 and 15, I'm just going to grab that and I'm just going to broadcast image I can grab any one I want now. I'll just grab, uh, we'll grab one. There, so these are all done. Now, if I run this, it's not going to work yet because these images are not set up with a show image, this show image, that show image, et cetera. So I've got to add those. So I'm going to come here and each one will be different. So when I receive, this is image one, I show image one. Now think about what I want to have happen. I want it to show. That's the first thing. So I want that particular thing that's in there. I want it to show. And I want it to show for a little bit of time, so I'll put a wait in there. And I'll tell it to wait for four seconds. All right, then I'm gonna tell it to hide again. All right. In fact, I don't even have to tell it to hide. What I'll do is I'll tell it, I will broadcast a hide all sprites. Now I want to do this for each one of these. So again, I'm going to try to duplicate. I'm going to see if I can copy this. Copy it here, copy it here. I'm just going to do a couple of them to see how it works. Okay, there it is. But this one has got to be when, I, when show image two, because it's two. This one has to be then when I receive image, show image, Three. So those are all done now. All right. Let's go back to number one. Let's try four, five, six, seven, and eight. Might be a better way of doing it than what I'm doing right here, but this is just the way that I learned. All right. So show image four. Show image five. Show image, or when I receive him, you know, show image six. Seven. And eight. I'm making good strides here. All right. I'm going to go back to zero. To zero to one. And I'm going to copy it to 9 and to 10 and to 11 and to 12 and to 13 and to 14, finally to 15. 
bottom ones especially never seem to copy very well, but whatever. All right, so there's this one. And this is nine. This is 10. This is 11. This is 12. And I just realized I forgot something, but we'll fix it. 12, I wish I would remember it earlier, but I didn't. This is 13. There is 14. See, that one did not copy. Yeah, that's not a problem. 14, copy out, no. Nope. See if that one took. Nope. Oh, either one of them did. That's okay. Um, let's see. This is the code that I want. Why won't it copy down there? I don't know. There, did that take? Yes. So this is 14. And then finally, see if we can copy it from there to here. There is 15. Now, I'm going to get rid of that extra code I have there because there's no sense in having it be there. Okay. Now, the only other thing that I meant to do that I didn't, remember I said I wanted to place the balls, I wanted to set it up like I've got this one, so I wanted this set X and set Y, this. So let me duplicate this and see if I can copy, all, uh, copy this into all of these. So I want to put that before I show, I want to put it in the right position. Okay, so far so good. All right, so that one's in position, that one is not. So that one's in position, that one is now in position, that's in position, that's in position. Don't have too many more to go. Seven more to go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can just put it now. Oops. Six. Well, it's not. That's fine. There. Five. All right, I've got two left, and neither one of those probably worked. So, oh, that one did. Good. Oh, that's okay. So, I need to do a set X and a set Y, and then I should be finished with these. Okay, move that down.
There's my set X. There's my set Y. X is going to 132 and Y is going to 68. And I can go and add this back, bring this in here and get rid of that. All right, I'm gonna take it for a spin. So I'm gonna do a file, save now, and bring it in here and give it a try. So stop the run, start the run. Try to see how much stuff I can test here. Leave it blank, okay. Is it hot to today? We should hear the shake and then this should change. All right, that didn't change. That's not a good start. The good news is the shake works, so everything worked down until that time. So let's stop the run. Should have actually asked me if I wanted to play again, and it didn't do that either. So we'll have to look at both of those. Come in here. Random image one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. I'm just checking this five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, otherwise show which one. That's all just fine. All right, so let's go back down to here. Oh, we didn't put the code in yet to make it, make it run again, so that's all right. All right, so we set to X, that's good. Guess hide all sprites, ask the question. Set the random image. We played the sound. We called display, so it really should have shown it, but I'm not sure why it didn't. So let's look at that. So after we call display, we do want to come in here and we want to ask if they want to play again. So play again. All right, and if, well, let's first come in and let's use message here. So let's set message, move this over to here. So set message to the answer that we had. And then we're going to put an if in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, an if then else. So if, and there's different ways we can write this too. In fact, uh, set me, yeah, okay, that's good. Let's see if the message is equal to a Y. We want to play the game again, right? So all we have to do, we really don't have to do anything here because it's already set, but it never hurts. I will come in here and set, play again to true. All right, otherwise I don't want to play anymore. I'm going to duplicate this, but I'm going to set it to false, okay? All right, so show image one, show image two, show image three, show image four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, I'll talk on it. Oh, I hope I didn't get that up. Ugh. That way up. Should allow me to move this up. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, two, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Otherwise, that good. 
All right, let's double check these. When I receive one in one, show. Okay, wait, and then hide. Two, show, wait, and hide. Three, show, wait, and hide. Four. Now we do want to make sure that we hide this. The magic equal image. Now, I don't think that was goofing it up, but you never know. So let's go back to here. And when we, right before we display, oh, that's why I did that. Okay. So right before we display the associated image, let's again hide all sprites because that'll hide that one. I had that in there before and I removed it because I didn't know why I put it in. That is why I put it in. So we will broadcast. We don't want to do that three times. There. Hide all sprites to wait. All right, I now I'm, I'm hoping that this fixed everything. File, save new, or save rather, save now, I should say. Let's stop it, run it again. All right. Am I hungry? It should be changing and it's not. So something is wrong right there. Play again. That's good that that's, that's done. And if I say, why? Okay, what's your question? But it's, it's doing the shake, but it's not changing the image. So that somehow is being, that is not being called or something. I'm gonna quickly look at my code again. Fifteen. Hmm. Set X, set Y, show, wait, and hide. That's a lot longer than you have to actually wait, but that's okay. This code that's like right here does not seem like it's getting hit. And I've got the working one, but I tried to rewrite it in a little bit different way. All right, so I don't wanna go back and look at my notes. I've been doing this by basically off the top of my head here. But it appears as though there's, I don't know if it's this broadcast or what it is, something is making it not show the, it is, it is literally not showing the answer and it should be. It looks like the code looks like it's correct. The error has to be in here or in here almost. So let me look through the logic again. X and set by the sprite broadcast, say a question, set play again to true, repeat until it's good. So repeat until it's false. I know that's working. What is your question? Set question to answer. Ooh, no, that's right. If it's nothing. 
Select SDL. Otherwise, it looks like it's positioned correctly. Set the random image three times, play the shaker. Yeah, maybe one we'll little more than that, maybe we'll do it six times. All right, play the shaker until done. Hide all the sprites and wait. Display the associated image. It should do the broadcast. Ask if they want to play again. Oh, I'm looking for something that looks wrong here. Two, show three. Huh. So it is going, it is going down to the play again. So it's got to be something between where it's shaking and where we're asking it to play again. Okay. So somewhere between play again and here. Broadcast hide all sprites and wait. Everything, as far as I can tell on here, looks correct. All I can think of is this hide all sprites is goofing things up. Let me take a bunch of these off. But it, that shouldn't be any kind of a problem. Now, if it turns out this is the problem, of course, I'll remove those code snippets. My goodness, something in there, and it maybe it's something really obvious. But that's a show. That's the way it should be. I think they all say show, 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 show.
Yeah, they all do. Like this is not getting hit. Okay, what I'm going to do, like, well, I, I guess here is my, here are my notes. What did I do before? I said, when that's the case, show, I said, wait, broadcast and wait. Well, I wonder, I don't think this setting, this X and Y would hurt anything, but what I'll do is I'll pause this, remove that, and then try it again. That's four. Was it? Well, now I'm not sure. All right, it does appear that it did not like that go to X and go to Y that I put in there. Right, so like you, I'm learning as well, I guess. So let's go back and let's see. I'm not sure if I can do this, if it, if this will take or not, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set these things 132, 68. I'm gonna set all of them like this. 132. One thirty two sixty eight. One thirty two sixty eight. That's wrong, of course. That should be. That's seventy five. Seventy five ninety one thirty two sixty eight seventy five ninety one thirty two sixty eight seventy five ninety. One thirty two eight seventy five ninety one thirty two sixty eight. This is ridiculous. Seventy five ninety one thirty two sixty eight.
I don't know, I may be going from bad to worse with what I'm trying to do here, but we'll see. is if I no more than seven left. Eight, that's good. We'll see. So I'm, I'm going to try to come in now and remove all of these set X and Ys. Should have done that first because that could end up changing this position, but we'll see. All right, give it a try. Oh, I want to do one more thing. Because that was on the sprite, six is too many times, three is plenty.
So I've got a question, hot enough for you. Hot enough for you. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Oh, I lost it. All right, I'll have to go and take a look at, at my code. Oops.